Hello and welcome to Video Jug. We're at Manolo Santana Rackets Club in Puerto Banús, Spain. We're here with Francis Ribeiro, the club's top coach and world-class player. He's beaten Verdasco, played Ferrero, Tommy Haas, and Feliciano López, amongst others. Francis is going to show you how to play a smash. It's an advanced shot played when the ball is high in the air above your head. Step 1. Your grip. From the ready position, select your grip. We recommend the continental grip for more power and spin. The V of your thumb and forefinger should be on the top edge of the racket's handle. Step 2. Position your feet. As soon as you see the ball going into the air, you need to turn sideways. Pivoting your feet will quite naturally turn you side onto the ball. Step 3. Position your body. Bring your racket back into a throwing position, as Francis is demonstrating. Keep your elbow in line with your shoulders. At the same time as you bring the racket back, use your other arm to point up at the ball. This helps you find your position as the ball comes towards you. Judge the flight of the ball and move into position directly behind it. As you move, stay sideways onto the ball, using side steps and cross steps to adjust your position. Step 4. Your swing. As the ball arrives, accelerate the racket head at the ball in the throwing action. As you swing, your weight shifts forward onto your front foot, putting your body weight into the ball. Tip. Reach up to hit the ball. The higher you make contact, the more power you can generate. The secret to a killer smash is not how hard you hit the ball. Timing is key. Step 5. Follow through. Follow through across your body as Francis is demonstrating, the racket ending up around your waist. Tip. Relax your arm at the end of the follow through. This helps avoid tennis elbow. And then recover quickly returning to the ready position. And there you have it, a killer smash, the decisive attacking shot that should win you the point when it's done the video jug way.